Hey everyone, this is me, Jam Doggy, and today I'm going to be doing a um, little video showing you guys something that I, one of the projects that I've been working on. And as you don't know, because I'm pretty sure nobody ever has known this. I um I can program in HTML, Java, and Game Maker. Um, that background is kind of hurting my eyes. Don't worry, I'll fix that. I've I've been trying to mess around with it. It hurts. It it really does hurt. Um, not that much, but just a teeny bit. So basically, like, uh, this is just like a little project I've been working on. Basically, an image editor, and you can like. So, what I have right now is this simple little RGB thing, it adds 5 every time you click it, you can hit this little R button to reset it, each one of the little values, and they go up to 255, which is obvious, and then once it goes over 255, it goes back to 0. So yeah, I've got the, R R the, yeah, I've got the RGB working, as you can see, 0, so yeah, um, so yeah, you can change the RGB, so I'm just gonna give this like a little weird code here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna do this like kind of thing. There we go. And then, as you can see, it actually does change the color. So yeah, you can select colors and you can uh, draw with them. That's pretty cool. But uh, there are a couple of tools. So first of all, it is the text tool. It also takes the color up here. I accidentally just put that. Sorry. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sorry. Okay. So um. You can just type whatever crap you want in this. So I'm just gonna type hello. And then I'm just going to put that down. Okay, yeah. So um, I'm still working on the changing the text size, but what you can do is such, is do Control F, and then you can open a troop a t a dot ttf file for font. So say I wanted to use the BVC font. Um, then I can just type with uh, BVSC fonts and stuff. And yeah, for some reason I can actually change, like whenever I select a, a font, I can actually, yeah, change that. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, you can actually type stuff and stuff like that. I'm actually going to reset this, be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it takes like two seconds to start up. I, I like when you open it immediately open. So, uh, first of all, this is a working this circle tool it's kind of a work in progress but right now all you can really do with it is just like scale it up and down I have this little mouse pad so I can do this wait hold up a minute um there we go okay I'm using my mouse pad now this is weird but okay um so I'll just get a yeah is he, like you can make a gigantic oh my gosh this is that look uh, oh that's trippy that's really trippy Okay, so yeah, um, this is the circle tool. Um, so next tool in the list is actually one that I recently changed. Um, that would be the square tool. Basically, because it's actually not showing it. So basically, it's just a normal square tool. So you can just, you know, do this. Hello. And then you can just release, and it'll do that. So um, you're probably wondering, how did I do this in Game Maker? Because uh, if you didn't know already by the title, I'm doing this all in Game Maker. This, uh, especially this, well, I'm talking about the square tool. Well, um, before it was just like it would display the square next to the cursor, and then you'd have to use the arrow keys to change. Oh. oh, it still does that apparently. Oh yeah, because uh, this is the display thing. Okay, so um, yeah, basically, the way it works is I'll, I'll fix it. You can still use the arrow keys to change what the display square looks like, but that's that's temp that that's actually temporary. You see, so um, but like okay, basically whatever you put on this surface, um, you can't like they're not an object. They're not an instance either. They're just like they're stuck to the surface. They're just part of the surface. They're what the surface looks like. And then, that's how I actually made the save function, because you actually save your image, and it'll have, like, transparency and everything. That's why there's a transparent background there, um, obviously. So, yeah, basically, how I do this is there are four variables. In GameMaker, um, 
it needs to know the first point, which when I left click, um, it sets the first point where I left clicked, the first um, point for the x and the y. For and then there's two other variables for the second points, right? And so they're constantly changing for the display. That's how that they're doing this. If this makes sense. But then when I release this, um, then it takes those dot those values and actually draws the square with those values onto the surface. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, the next one is image. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, the next function is an image. So basically, the way this works is you hit Control A, and that will uh, then you can just open an image. Um, uh, for some reason, there's I'm just gonna open that. So yeah, as you can see, you just click and it places the image down. So so for some reason, there's some in certain in yeah yeah. You gotta be careful when using this tool because it's still slightly buggy. There's a certain, um, there is a certain image that crashes the thing when I add the thing in. I think it's this one. Open. Open. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it works? Oh. Okay, then. I'll take it. Wait a second. Okay, hold up a minute, guys. Oh, I've got to experiment with it. I think I figured it out. I think I know. It, it, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Okay, there's something about that image that no program likes. <laughs> Maybe it's the dimensions, like I could open it in paint.net just fine. Well, r right when I was about to select it, fraps crashed. Oh wow, that's amazing. Okay, so, I'm just, you, you get the point that basically you select it, you get control A, and then you know, you can just select Im an image that you want to add in. I'm going to add my Christmas skin. Here we go. That's your file for my Christmas skin. Woo! Oh yeah, you can also do this. Yeah, my singing's so good, by the way. I thought I'm gonna copyright. I'm gonna trigger a copyright strike. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be careful. Um, so this, <laughs> so say we want to save. Or no, wait, I'm not gonna do that yet. So there's another tool. It's a little something called the zoom tool. Wait, hold on. Just like the pencil. There we go. Zoom tool. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Zoom tool. Uh -uh. And what, how you move around while you're zoomed in is you hold middle click. Just move the rest of the screen. It kind of slides like that. See? And you can also move it down to that, that, and then that. <clears throat> um. So once again, if you are curious to how that works, um, then. Uh, what, um, uh, basically what I did is I made the basic zoom feature. And then, because it's centered on, because views are, can be centered on objects. So I made the view centered on a visible object that's always there. And then when you're zoomed in, you middle click. And what, when you're middle clicking, it kind of follows the mouse around. So the view is kind of following the object, if that makes sense. And so it's kind of doing that because it it it, see, it sees the object, but we don't see the object. And um, so how you may ask now how did I how do I how did I and if I did how do I I mean how did I get a working save feature that only saves the surface? Well, I will show you. Well, basically, there's just a save. Um, yeah, there's a save surface function in Game Maker. So, if I want to save this masterpiece, then we can hit save, and then we can call it um whatever. Okay, so I've saved an image file as whatever, and now if we if we were to open it in another program that does this same thing 
then we would actually be able to see that um, it the we can actually open the image and edit in that program. But I can't actually show you that because I'm using Fraps. So let's just search for um, uh, not too sure what we saved it as. So I'm just gonna save it again and just say blah, blah. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna open blah, mm -hmm, blah, blah.png as you can see. And now, oh gosh, yeah, it's there definitely. And if we wanna hold up. So if we want to use the add image tool, control A, and then, uh, blah, mm -hmm. blah, the PNG, open, as you can see, whoa, oh my gosh, look, we can add it anywhere we want to, that's, that's cool. Anyway, so yeah, um, that is the, um, image, no, 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 wait. There's a couple, like, I'm not too sure what that is. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. I remember that now. Oh, gosh. <sighs> anyway, so this one's kind of experimental. I haven't actually upgraded it with the new square tool yet, so it, it's still kind of, you, you still, this is, like, you still kind of have to use the arrow keys. And you can't change the second color for the gradient, but this is the gradient square tool. Um, as you can see, it's it's still a work in progress, but yeah, and oh yeah, I can make a pole. See, I can make a pole. I'm just gonna make a pole. I can make a gigantic pole. Anyways, guys, that's really all we have time for today. Today, hope you guys. That's a different outro. Hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys um, all next time. Go Wait a second. I forgot to say one thing. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for this program or maybe you know something I could do differently besides the gradient thing and stuff. Or maybe because I'm also trying to figure out like how to make the eraser tool working. Because I can, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make this like a real program, but made in Game Maker, and it's actually going really far. If you have any suggestions for the program, and, or just something that could help me out, maybe like, link me to a video, or, I don't know, something. Because, yeah, I don't know, just, do all the support helps. And yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. What do you think of this program so far? I think it's really nice. I've been working on it and yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video just much added making it and yeah guys i've said this intro a million times and i'll see you guys all next time goodbye